Hi there. Welcome again to Francius Wana channel. My name is Francius. I believe you have built your own tempe incubator with the heater and the cooler installed. Now you might want to wire your incubator to the temperature controller STC1000. Let's do it. This is the incubator with the heater and the cooler installed. These are the ends of the heater and the cooler wires that we want to connect to the controller. We will follow this wiring diagram. In the diagram, we see there are two main wires, each with three branches. The brown is leaf wire and the blue the neutral. We will make these wires. This is the temperature controller STC1000. At the back, it has eight connectors numbered 1 through 8. We need two wires with three branches. One brown leaf wire and one blue neutral wire. I don't have color wire so I will use labels instead. I have made the brown wire with three branches. Now we make the other one. This is how we make it. Cut three short wires and strip both ends about 10 millimeters. Using a butt splice, crimp the long wire to one end. and the three short wires to the other end. Now we have the blue or neutral wire with three branches. It's time to label them according to the diagram. The brown olive wire branches to connectors number 1, 5 and 7. One, five, seven. Using masking tape, we label them 1, 5, and 7. label leaf for leaf wire. Done with the brown wire, we move to the blue or neutral wire. The blue or neutral wire branches to connectors number 2, heater and cooler. <coughs> so we label them with 2, H for heater and C for cooler. Blue wire is done. We still have two more wires to deal with. The straight wires is actually part of the brown wire 
and we'll connect the connectors number 6 and 8 so we label them accordingly the other ends of the wires will go to heater and cooler respectively Now we have a complete labeled wires 1 through 8, leaf, neutral, heater and cooler. What we need to do is to connect all those wires to the STC1000 according to the labels. Leaf wire branches the connectors 1, 5 and 7. Leaf wire is connected. Neutral wire branches to connector 2 and later to A and C. Label 6 and 8 go to connectors number 6 and 8. Now we need to connect all the ACE labels to heater and C labels to cooler. And of course, connect the left and neutral wires to the wall plug. This is the heater represented by a light bulb. And this is the cooler represented by a USB cooling fan. Connect the two edge labels to the heater.
connect the two C labels to the cooler. Now both the heater and the cooler are connected to the controller. Then connect lift and neutral wires to wall plug or extension cable. One last thing, don't forget this. Connect the heat sensor to connectors number 3 and 4. If you forget this, it will give you a startling alarm. Installations complete. Now we need to do some testing. I plug the controller to the wall outlet and I have it set earlier to 31 degrees C plus minus half degree and one minute compressor delay. Switch it on by pressing the power button for three seconds. The temperature reads 29.1 C and the heater is on which is correct. I will simulate temperature increase by putting the heat sensor tip in my palm. The temperature reading rise rapidly to over 31.5 C when the heater will switch off. We can see a red blinking light at the upper left corner. It indicates the compressor delay, which is set at the lowest, 1 minute. 1 minute compressor delay is over and the cooler is on.
I put the sensor tip at the airflow to make the temperature reading drop. When the reading hits 31C, the cooler will go off. At 30.5C, the heater will switch on.